The Student and Exchange Visitor Program, known as SEVP, maintains the Student and Exchange Visitor Information System, or CVIS. CVIS is a web-based system that keeps track of F, M, and J non-immigrants, students, exchange visitors, and accompanying dependents, to ensure they maintain their status. Congress mandates the I-901 CVIS fee to support these functions. All F and M students and some J exchange visitors must pay the I-901 CVIS fee to apply for a visa to enter the United States. In this tutorial, we will show you how to pay your I-901 CVIS fee with one of the following payment options. Electronic payment in U.S. dollars by credit card on fmjfee.com or payment in U.S. dollars by check, money order, or bank draft drawn on a U.S. bank and mailed to an address in the United States. We will also direct you to instructions for payment using an agent of Western Union QuickBay, which has agents in more than 130 countries worldwide. Additionally, we will show you how to check the status of your fee once you have submitted payment. In most cases, the I-901 CVIS fee is non-refundable. This tutorial will take you step by step through the payment process. We recommend that you watch this tutorial while you are paying the I-901 CVIS fee, stopping or pausing when necessary. Before you begin the tutorial, you should have a complete and accurate Form I-20, Certificate of Eligibility for Non-Immigrant Status, or Form DS-2019, Certificate of Eligibility for Exchange Visitor, J-1, status. Note, if you are an F or M student, you should have received your Form I-20 from your designated school official, also known as a DSO. If you are a J exchange visitor, you should have received your Form DS-2019 from your responsible officer, also known as an RO. If you have not received a Form I-20 or a Form DS-2019, contact your DSO or RO immediately. You cannot submit your I-901 CVIS fee payment until the DSO or RO sends you one of these forms. To pay your I-901 CVIS fee, first go to fmjfee.com. Once there, you will notice two main options at the bottom of the screen. Submit Form I-901 and Fee Payment, which will allow you to submit your I-901 CVIS fee payment, and Check I-901 Status Print Payment Confirmation, which will allow you to view the status of your Form I-901 CVIS fee or print your payment confirmation. To move forward in paying your I-901 CVIS fee, click the Submit Form I-901 and Fee Payment button. You will also notice the left-hand sidebar provides links to the following options. Help provides you with important information about required documents and frequently asked questions. CVIS main page will take you back to the home page of fmjfee.com. Submit form I-901 and fee payment will allow you to make an I-901 CVIS fee payment. Check I-901 status, print payment confirmation, and contact us, which provides contact information if you have questions anytime throughout the payment process. These links will take you directly to the specified page and are available throughout the entire I-901 CVIS fee payment process on the main fmjfee.com page. Once you select the Submit Form I-901 and Fee Payment button, you will arrive at the Form Selection page. This page provides important information you should read before filling out the Form I-901 and paying the I-901 CVIS fee. You must have a complete and accurate Form I-20, Certificate of Eligibility for Non-Immigrant Status, or Form DS-2019, Certificate of Eligibility for Exchange Visitor, J-1 status, and must be able to print from your computer if you choose to pay by check or money order. Printed payment confirmation will serve as proof of your I-901 CVIS fee payment. Also note that if you do not have a working printer when you pay the I-901 CVIS fee, you can click the Check I-901 Status Print Payment Confirmation listed below in the Caution section of the page to print the payment confirmation later. If you are ready to proceed with filling out the Form I-901, select either the Form I-20 or Form DS-2019 based on your purpose of travel to the U.S. and click OK. Next, you will arrive on the Applicant Validation page. 
The top of the page provides additional important information about the payment of the I-901 CVIS fee. You should read this information before filling out the form. When you start filling out the form, begin by validating your identity. Start by entering your last name and first name exactly as they appear on your Form I-20. Then, enter your CVIS ID number, which is located on the top right of your Form I-20 or your Form DS-2019. You do not need to enter the letter N in front of your CVIS number. Finally, fill in your date of birth with two digits for month, two digits for date, and four digits for the year. Take a moment to confirm that all the information is correct and press enter once it is. You have the option to clear the form or start over if you have incorrectly entered any information. You will now see the form I-901. All of the information you enter must be accurate and up to date. Begin filling out the form by entering your current address. On the second part of the form, you must provide your gender, city of birth, country of birth, country of citizenship, and the school code or program code of the SEVP certified school or Department of State designated exchange visitor program that accepted you. Again, you will find the school or program code on your form I-20 or DS-2019. Provide your passport number if necessary. At the bottom of the page, you must confirm that you have read the instructions for the form up until this point. You will have the following options. I accept will allow you to proceed with the payment process. I decline will stop you from moving forward. Clear form or start over will restart the process. If you have read the instructions and agreed to the terms of payment, click I accept to move forward. Next, you will arrive on the form verification page. Here, you must verify that all of your information on the form I-901 is correct. Double check the form to avoid misspellings or incorrect information. If you notice that you have entered something incorrectly, press click here to correct your form and make appropriate changes. If everything is correct, click continue. Now you arrive to the student and exchange visitor fee page where you can choose to pay by credit card, check, or money order. The I-901 CVIS fee is $200 for F and M students. J-1 exchange visitors who are participants in programs sponsored by the U.S. government do not pay the I-901 CVIS fee. J-1 exchange visitors participating in camp counselor, summer work, travel, and au pair programs must pay a $35 I-901 CVIS fee. All other J-1 exchange visitors pay an I-901 CVIS fee of $180. After you have selected a form of payment for the I-901 CVIS fee, you can select Submit to move forward or select Return to Form I-901 to go back to your previously submitted Form I-901. Remember that the I-901 CVIS fee is non-refundable in most cases. You will need to print a confirmation of your payment because printed payment confirmation will serve as proof of your I-901 CVIS fee payment. If you have chosen to pay with a credit card, you will arrive at the Payment Information page. Input your credit card information, including the name of the cardholder and credit card details. You also need to fill out the address and billing information for the cardholder. Once you finish entering your information, click Submit Payment. If you click Back, you arrive at the Payment Fee page. When you click Yes, you will submit your payment and you will arrive at the Payment Confirmation page. At the bottom of the page, you have three options. Print payment confirmation to print confirmation of your payment submission. Return to the welcome page to return to the main fmjfee.com main page. Submit another I-901 application to submit another payment. Only choose this if you are also paying for another individual's fee. Note, it is crucial that you print confirmation of this page. It proves submission of your payment and provides you with a payment confirmation number you will need to present at the U.S. Embassy or Consulate to apply for your student visa. Please also note that your payment will appear on your credit card as U.S. Student and EV I-901 Fee 800-375-5283-VT. If you chose to pay by check or money order, 
you will be directed to a payment coupon that you must print immediately. The payment coupon will include your name, address, and payment information. Follow the mailing instructions on your payment coupon to send it and your check or money order to complete your I-901 CFIS fee payment. Below the mailing instructions on your coupon, you will be able to review the terms and conditions of your payment. At the bottom of the page, you have three options. Print this page to print both mailing instructions and terms and conditions. Return to the CVIS main site to return to the main fmjfee.com page. Submit another I-901 application to submit another payment. Only choose this if you are also paying for another individual's fee. You can view the status of your payment processing made by a check or money order and print your I-901 CVIS fee receipt after payment processing by selecting Check I-901 Status Print Payment Confirmation on the fmjfee.com homepage. To view your payment status, go to fmjfee.com and select Check I-901 Status Print Payment Confirmation on the side panel of the screen. Next, you will see Check I-901 Status Print Payment Confirmation page. The page will ask you to enter your CVIS identification number your last name, and date of birth exactly as they appear on your Form I-20 or Form DS-2019. Once you have entered all the required information, click Check I-901 Status Print Payment Confirmation to proceed. You will arrive at the I-901 Transaction Details page, which will provide information about the date SEVP received your payment, the corresponding CVIS ID, the status of your payment, and your transaction. Click View to see the details of the transaction. You should only see the I-901 CVIS fee payments that you have made on this screen, which for the majority will be one. By clicking View next to a payment, you will arrive at the Form I-901 status page, which provides details about the status of your payment. It also has important information that you should read regarding your visa interview and status changes. At the bottom of the page, you will see four options. Return to previous page will take you back to the I-901 transaction details. Look up another I-901 transaction will take you to the Check I-901 status page. Return to the welcome page to return to the main fmjfee.com page. Print payment confirmation to print your receipt. It is crucial that you print confirmation of your payment here. It is proof of payment submission and provides you with the payment confirmation number that you will need to present at the U.S. Embassy or Consulate to receive your student visa. If you click Print Payment Confirmation, a pop-up will ask you if you would like to open up the payment confirmation, save the payment confirmation to your computer, or cancel from viewing a confirmation. Clicking Open or Save will enable you to view your payment confirmation. The payment confirmation includes your confirmation number, payment date, and other important payment details. This form is your evidence of payment at your visa appointment. If you return to the I-901 Transaction Details page from the Form I-901 Status page, you have two options at the bottom of the page. Click Look up another I-901 Transaction to return to the Check I-901 Status Print Payment Confirmation page to look up payment information for a different CVIS ID, or click Return to the Welcome page to go to the home page of fmjfee.com. You have now completed the I-901 CVIS fee payment tutorial. For more information, please visit the I-901 CVIS fee page on Study in the States at studyinthestates.dhs.gov.